We're days away from the start of the Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta, and we've got a lot of ground to cover. The Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta kicks off next week and will only be available for one weekend. Although it's an open beta, not everyone will gain access at the same time. A lot of people are looking forward to the Battlefront 2 beta because many felt that the 2015 Battlefront was lacking in content. With EA now happy to flaunt the expanded content in the launch version of Battlefront 2, a lot of purchase decisions will rely on impressions made during the beta. When does the Battlefront 2 beta start, and what platforms will it be available on this Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta will be available on PC, PS4, and Xbox One, with no early access for any of the three platforms. The beta goes live in two phases. The first phase is available only to those who pre-ordered the game, either digitally or at retail. For this group, the beta will go live on Wednesday, October 4th at the following times PDT 1 AM EDT 4 AM BST 9 AM say 10 AM the next phase kicks off on Friday, October 6th at the same times above. The beta wraps up for all on Monday, October 9th at the times below PDT 9 AM EDT 12 PM BST 5 PM say 6 PM. What sort of content is in the beta, and how big is it the Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta is actually among EA's biggest, in terms of content. The beta includes Galactic Assault Mode on Naboo, which we saw a lot of at E3 2017, and the Starfighter Assault Space Combat Mode on Funder, shown off at Gamascom 2017. The beta will also include the new Strike Mode, where it will take us to Maz Kanata's castle on Takadana. Finally, Battlefront 2's arcade mode will be available to play in single player. These arcade scenarios will take place in Theed. You can also expect daily challenges, and once completed, they will hand out rewards in the beta. The daily challenges are October 4 Assault Trooper challenges play as all four Assault Trooper classes and defeat 150 enemies in any mode. October 5 Battle Points and Hero Challenges Become a Hero Using Battle Points, Play as Light and Dark Side Hero, Defeat 20 Enemies as Hero. October 6 Arcade Challenges Complete 3 Arcade Scenarios, Defeat 30 Enemies. October 7 Galactic Assault Challenges Play 1 Round of Galactic Assault, Defeat 20 Enemies, While Playing as Reinforcement, Play as and Defeat a Reinforcement, Hero, Villain and Trooper. October 89 Starfighter Assault Challenges Become a Hero Ship, Destroy 5 Turrets, Destroy 5 Objects, and Get a Savior Kill Assist 25 times. As for the download size, EA has not yet confirmed it. However, the publisher warned that it's going to be bigger than any other beta in EA's history, so be prepared for a hefty download. What are the minimum and recommended PC specs as recently revealed, the Battlefront 2 beta has some hefty minimum and recommended PC specs. As you can see below, you'll need at least an i5-6600K CPU to run it. With that in mind, these specs are only for the beta, so things could be better optimized for launch. Minimum PC specs OS 64-bit Windows 7 SP1, Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 processor AMD FX6350. Intel Core i5-6600K Memory 8GB RAM Graphics Card AMD Radeon HD 7852GB NVIDIA Jeffers GTX 662GB DirectX 11.0 Compatible Video Card or Equivalent Online Connection Requirements 512kbps or Faster Internet Connection Hard Drive Space 15GB Recommended PC Specs OS 64-bit Windows 10 or Later Processor AMD FX8350 Wraith Intel Core i7-6700, or equivalent memory 16GB RAM graphics card AMD Radeon RX 484GB, NVIDIA Jeffers GTX 1063GB DirectX 11.1 compatible video card or equivalent online. Connection requirements 512 kbps, or faster internet connection hard drive space 15GB Star Wars Battlefront is out November 17, or November 13 for deluxe edition owners. Sometimes we include links to online retail stores. If you click on one and make a purchase we may receive a small commission. For more information, go here.